Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on felon finger. A felon finger infection, also known as a felon or felon finger, is a painful infection in the fleshy part of your fingertip. This area is called the distal digital pulp. The infection can form a pocket of pus or abscess within your fingertip. A felon can take over the pad of your fingertip and the soft tissues surrounding it. Hand infections near the surface of your skin, which are superficial, are more common than deep infections. Felons and nail infections, perinicia, are the most common hand infections. Almost one-third of hand infections are felons and perinicia. The most common location of felon finger infections is in the first and second fingers of your hand. Your fingertips contain closed-up sections of fibrous membranes. When you get a felon finger infection, it begins to swell and throb because it's trapped within these membranes. For the causes of felon finger. Felon finger is a bacterial infection. When you injure or irritate your fingertip, you create a small opening in your skin. Bacteria can enter this break in your skin, where they can grow and multiply. This can create a felon. Staphylococcus aureus and Streptococcus are the most common bacteria that lead to felons. Felon finger infections are usually caused by minor injuries to your finger pads. These injuries can include splinters, cuts, scrapes, and abrasions, bug bites, puncture wounds, such as piercing yourself with a sharp pin or a pointed piece of glass. Patients usually present with redness and warmth in fingertip, swelling, tenderness, throbbing pain, pus filled sac forming under skin, and even numbness. For investigations, your healthcare provider can usually diagnose felon finger through a clinical exam. However, they may request additional tests. Your healthcare provider may want an ultrasound to check for evidence of an abscess under the skin. They may also order a wound culture. A wound culture can determine what kind of bacteria caused the felon. This helps your healthcare provider decide which antibiotic to prescribe you. For treatment, in early stages, we can take antibiotics. Soak your finger in warm water. Elevate your finger and tetanus injection might be indicated, whereas for later stages, surgical incision and drainage of the pus might be needed. Your healthcare provider will wrap your finger in gauze and put it in a splint. After two to three days, your healthcare provider will remove the gauze and re-examine your finger. If your finger looks like it's beginning to heal, your healthcare provider will have you change the gauze daily to keep the wound clean until it heals. If there's been no improvement, you may need further surgery. Your healthcare provider may also prescribe you an antibiotic to prevent further infection. Depending on the severity and treatment of your infection, your felon finger may clear up within days or weeks. If you have a more aggressive treatment, your felon finger may heal faster. That's all for this video. Thank you.